Over 3,000 pounds of trash were found scattered through the neighborhood after two garbage trucks were overturned. What looked like weeks worth of cleanup turned into two You know where we're out in 25? I don't know. Hey, focus, focus. Hold the graphic. Becca, get the credits ready. She has 10 seconds. I have the perfect send off for tonight, trust me. As always, I'm Hannah Scott reporting live from Acadia University in the heart of Ravenwood, North Carolina. This has been credits ready. And remember, you think she practices that smile at home? Page black. And we're clear. I think the pacing of the town council meeting is a bit off. It's important information, but I feel like it's when we lose half the audience. Yeah, all 32 people watching. You're the only person I know who could make town council meetings sound interesting. <laughs> and that new sign off, killer. You liked it? Yeah. Hey team, I just watched the show. Fantastic start to the semester. Thank you. Hannah, love that closing line. Thank you. Overall, great job guys. All right. Drinks. 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 All right, it's decided then. Drinks. The upside of having a life during senior year is we get to replenish ourselves with alcohol. <laughs> As if we weren't doing that before. <laughs> but now we get to do it in Boston, so. It is nice to drink in public. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Professor McConnell asked me twice today what I was going to do after college. That is just like it. Pretty sure he thought I was two different people. Poor guy is getting old. Dude, the only reason he's still here is because he's got tenure. I think you mean tenure. <laughs> what did I say? Tenure. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> really though, why do they keep asking us about what we're doing after we graduate? They think everybody has something lined up. Like, we're, we're gonna show up to our first day of work in our cap and gown. I mean, some people know what they're gonna do after school. Yeah, and some people don't. A day it is, Grant. <laughs> what do you wanna do? What? I said, what do you want to do? You, you do wanna produce, right? This guy could get any job telling anyone what to do anywhere he wants. Oh, like at Introspection Media. He'd fit right in over there. Yes, and then Becca and I are going to go on to become the best writer-talent duo in the industry. <laughs> We've been saying that since we were kids. Well, it is bound to happen eventually. So. <laughs> well, what I do know for sure is I'm going to miss working with you guys. What are you... Come on, man. we still got one more semester. One more season of groundbreaking, low-budget television. You know what? Here's to, to hoping for the worst and preparing for the best. Cheers. Or something like that. <laughs> now, color wasn't actually introduced into the movies until the late 1930s, and when it was, well, it looks like Dylan's asleep, so we must be done. Everybody, have a wonderful day. I'll see you all on Wednesday when we get to movies with Sal. Have a good day, Professor. Hey, excuse me. Um, could I ask you a question? Sure. I was just wondering if you knew anything about writing for movies by chance? I'm sorry, I just didn't know how else to ask. Oh no, don't apologize. But this may sound ironic given as I'm a film instructor, but I can't help you. No worries, thank you though. <laughs> um, but I know someone who can. I went to undergrad with a woman, Quinn Harper, talented, very talented. Uh, she directs short films now. I could give you her email. I'm sure she'd love to talk to you. That, that would be amazing. Oh my God, thank you so much. Don't mention it. Uh, well, have a good day. You as well. Thanks. Uh, before you go, can you wake him up, please? You have one message. Hey, Donna, this is Carl Phillips with Introspection Media. I was just having a few drinks with your dad, and he told me all about you. I thought I'd give you a buzz, but...
let you know about some internship opportunities we have. Why don't you call me back and we can talk about them. We'd love to have you join the team. Okay, so we've got a lot of potential stories to cover. This semester we should continue to push for authenticity, cover things that we really care about. I found an article about a local woman named Bree Holiday. She leads an initiative to bring more organic food to the homeless communities. Can we bring her in for an interview? It'll be tight, but I think I can make that happen. Great. Um, does anyone else have anything they want to cover? Alrighty. Becca, you've got the script. Hannah, make sure you have your field report. Up I, uh, I have some news. I, uh, I got an internship at Introspection Media. I just finished the paperwork. How? I mean, wow. Introspection Media. It's a competitive spot. They only take the best of the best. Wait, what about the show? How are we supposed to... How are we going to do it without you? I thought that Grant could run the switchboard. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can run it. Congratulations, man. It was a, a long shot, for sure. I got lucky. Yeah. Lucky. Tyler, of course it had to be Tyler. Ugh! Bringing you out here was supposed to help you relax. I am relaxed. Sure? Yes. But why did it have to be him? He's like a sixth year senior. Did you apply? No, but that doesn't change my point. <sighs> Remember when we were freshmen? We used to dream about having our own show. And now look at us. We're making good stuff here, Hannah. Think of it this way. If Tyler can do it, so can we. Can we go inside? I'm cold. Tyler, I heard the good news. I'm giving the place one last look before you head out. Yeah, something like that. What's going on? I just don't know what to think about any of this. Well, I would think you'd be excited. I am. But the only reason I even got considered was because my dad knows a guy. Listen, Tyler in this field it is all about who you know. I know and that. anyone in your shoes would use their connections. You're good at what you do. I just hey. Anyone can open the door for you. But it's up to you to earn your spot once you're in. You have one new connection. I knew it. You're too much of a big shot to pick up my calls. <laughs> All jokes aside, man, I just want to wish you luck and try to have fun while you're there. Introspection Media prides itself on prestige and professionalism. As such, we only select the very best of the best. Each of you was chosen for this prestigious internship because of your accomplishments, your skills, your experiences, or personal insight. To be successful here, you will have to earn it. There are no guaranteed positions at the end of this term, so if you want to have even the slightest chance of getting a job here once our time is done, you will have to be the absolute best. No one will do it for you. John. Alan, how are you? Good. Grab a seat. So, how are things going over in the finance office? I'm sure this time of year it's probably pretty hectic. They are, but let's cut right to the heart of the matter. You got my email, right? I did. Well, the university is going to be focusing on athletics. And they were going to be cutting funding right away. But I was able to get them the funds through the end of the semester. 
I don't know why everyone's so worried. It's going to be fine. It's just weird not having him here. Look, we won't even notice he's gone. Right, Grant? Grant! Yeah. I think we'll be okay. I spent the last two weeks relearning the switchboard. But I think we'll be okay. Um, hey, do you think it might just be a little bit much for you? No. He's gonna do great. It's gonna be perfect. Why are we still talking about this? Hey team, I just wanted to come by and wish you all a good show. And I'm sure you're gonna do fantastic, but let's really bring an extra oomph to this one, okay? We'll try. It should be a good one. We brought in a special guest. Her name's Bree Holiday. She's the head of Prosperity and Progress Foundation. That is excellent. Community outreach and all. You're gonna do great, but do a good one. Okay, that was weird. Very. Well, I'm gonna get food. Yeah, no, I don't want anything. Yeah. I got it later. One, I, I'll get two, you. Nope, I'll be here. Three. What do you do at Prosperity and Progress? We're a nonprofit that works to make healthy, organic food available to those with food insecurity. And how did you okay, get You've done this before. You got this. Uh, Come on. I lived in a small town called Great Oaks. It's a small farming community. There's good, hardworking people there, but a lot of them didn't know where their next meal was coming no. from, including my. No, no, no! Where's the graphic? To be the change. Truly inspiring. On our next yeah. broadcast. We will be touring Miss Holiday's workplace, Prosperity and Progress. Thank you for watching. I'm Hannah Scott, signing off. I'm sorry. That was awful. I, you didn't do anything wrong. I'm sorry. That was fantastic. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. Becca, get the lights on. Hannah, make sure you got your mic taken care of. Oh, do I need to do anything? I'm sorry, I come off a little demanding sometimes. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, you run this whole thing? Oh yeah, I've been producing for four years now. That's impressive. Thank you. I really enjoyed hearing about what you do. Being able to help people like that, especially those who need it. It's a fulfilling job. I feel like I make a difference. Anyways, I'll see you guys in office on the 1st. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. See you there. When are we doing that anyway? I have this new pantsuit I want to wear that makes me look business fierce. The only available time is the first of next month, and we're gonna need everybody we can get, especially with Tyler gone. Guys, I got a response. From? I emailed this director about interviewing her or something, and she invited me to her set to see them film the scene. It, oh, they're filming the scene on the first. <sighs> Not so great. Tyler, I need you to go down to finance and get the daily reports. Then, I need you to report to the sixth floor and get the equipment registries. Lastly, go to HR, get these filled out, and bring them to my office. I, um... Oh. Uh... What's wrong? Surprised you actually have to do something for once? I know your type, Callaway. More importantly, I know who your dad is. Do you know how many people applied for your position? Two thousand people who dreamt and took risks and gave it their all for a chance to work here and had their opportunity taken away by people like you, whose only difference is that their parents know who to talk to. Well, guess what? That's not gonna work here. That's not gonna work with me. You're gonna work or you're out of here. Got it? to be in Chase. Uh, I'm Maggie, intern extraordinaire. Oh, yeah, you were at the meeting. Uh, more like police lineup. <laughs> I, um, I saw how Michael was talking to you earlier. I'm sorry, he shouldn't treat you like that. He's not wrong. 
The only reason I got here is because of my dad. But you're still here. I don't know. That, stop. I don't know you, but I do know that you are here, just like the rest of us. And it doesn't matter how you got here. Way too serious for a parking lot, I know. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll uh, see you tomorrow? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be here. Come on, Grant, let's speed this up. I'm working on it. It's been like two years since I've used one of these things. Do you know where the on switch is? Oh. I'm not joking. Sorry for the wait, Mrs. Holiday. I don't normally do camera work. Yeah, our last cameraman left us, so. Oh, no, it's, it's quite all right. I wouldn't even know where to begin with all of this. See, I was an English major in college. You were an English major? That I was. Hi, you must be Becca? Hi, yes, hi, that's, I am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just figured you had that, I'm terrified, this is crazy look. <laughs> so good to meet you, Becca. I'm Quinn Harper. Nice to meet you. Let me give you the grand tour. I, uh, I brought these from the printer because, well, they were down there. <laughs> right, because I just sent them to the printer. Yes, and I was already at the printer. Everything just uh, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Callaway, shouldn't you be working on those forms right about now? Yeah, I uh, have them right here, actually. Fresh off the printer. Hand delivered. These better be perfect. And delivered? Are you serious? <laughs> Can you tell me a little more about the people that work with you? Of course. There are many people who have... Sorry. <clears throat> there are many people here who have helped with the process and growth of this organization. Oh, look, there's our best one. This is Rachel Wilkson. Hey there. She is our outreach coordinator. Outreach coordinator, that is so exciting, Rachel. Can you tell me a little more about what you do? Yeah, uh, basically my job is to grab people's attention. Uh, we do a lot of valuable work at this organization, so our message needs to be heard and seen. And I'm the one that puts it in front of people's faces. Grant, please, let's go. Yeah, hurry. Miss Holiday, <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for showing us around. Absolutely, it was lovely, Hannah. Grant, let's go. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Absolutely, Grant. Oh, Grant, Rachel's leaving for another job in May. We're holding interviews for her spot soon. It doesn't pay a lot, but I hope you'll consider it. So have you ever been on a movie set before? Um, only the set of the weekly wrap-up, and nothing like this. Sorry, <laughs> nothing like this. It's not bad. The owner of the place was nice enough to let us shoot here. Excuse me? And the only catch was that we had to let them cater. Well, it's a nice deal all around. It certainly isn't a bad arrangement, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I've got something I want to show you. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the pre-production office. Well, I mean, office is kind of a loose term. It's really just where we put sticky notes up on the wall. Everything that needs to be done before I call action is done in this room. Well, what do you think? Oh, 
It's amazing. Just amazing. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's all that great. I mean, I've spent so much time in this room fighting over all these little nuances that I've even kind of come to hate it here. I'm actually stuck on this one issue because you see in this scene, Jeff is dealing with Marcus and he's supposed to be angry, but in the scene before, he's really just not that angry. Your problem's so... in scene 15? Um, actually, Your, your problem too. starts in scene 13. There's no reversal. Jeff needs to be happy in scene 13 so that in scene 15, his anger can come through. I... I'm so sorry. I, I read fast and I get ahead of myself. I'm, I really, I'm so sorry. No, no, don't be. You're right. Well, anyway, so we can check out all the other stuff that's happening. Over now, the only problem with Indiana Jones not being a completely flawless movie was that if he didn't do anything, sorry, it still would have ended the same way. The one thing that stops it from being an absolutely fantastic movie is the fact that it has one major flaw. The main protagonist plays no parts in the actual progression. Hey, how the field piece go? Would have been better if we had a crew. I didn't mean to... May I continue? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Now, actors can play a very good role in the overall outcome. Hey, Maggie. Everything okay? Everyone outside, now! Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Hey, uh, has anyone seen the registry forms? You know, the super important ones that were due yesterday? No one, really. Ah, well, that's fine. I happen to know where they are. The forms have been shredded. This has put the entire department behind. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna let the guilty party step forward and resign. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Really? No one? So be it. Since I can't fire you all, and the guilty party doesn't want to step forward, you've left me with no choice but to treat you all equally. I hope none of you had anything planned for the next few weekends, because guess what? We've just found a bunch of paperwork that needs to be done. Really, well done, guys. You've outdone yourselves. Now get back to work! And someone pick this up. Grant, we appreciate you coming in to interview. Someone from Prosperity and Progress will give you a call once we have our decision. Hello? Hey Ty, how's it going? Good. Just good? Yeah. This uh this internship is a lot different than the weekly wrap. <laughs> That's good though. Yeah. What are you guys up to? Uh something pretty cool actually. Um I got in touch with the director and she let me tour the set that she's working on. Wow, that's uh, 
It's actually really awesome. Yep. Why do you sound like that? I had to miss a production in order to go, and I just feel bad. <laughs> it was just one production. Besides, you got to go see a movie set. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just... I don't want to let anybody down, you know? <laughs> You're not going to let anyone down. Sometimes you just got to... Make the best of your situation. Yeah, you're right. I could get used to hearing that. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta go, but I miss you. Yeah, right back at you. New story one. Thank you. Yeah. We're uh, almost ready in here. Great. Hey, team. I just wanted to say, have a good show, okay? I, there's a reason you've been working here for so long, and I just hope you're getting out of it what you're looking for. Have a good show. Okay. We're starting in three minutes. Special delivery for the intern extraordinaire. You find anything useful in here? No. Classic. In recent news, changes made to the student orientation this summer. Sorry, you know. Without? It's an incredible opportunity. This movie thing. Something you've always talked about doing. Let me ask you something. What? What's going on? Nothing. Are you sure? Because when I met you, you were happy. Excited, even. Yeah, I was. It's just a thing. This is where I need to be. Why? I... Because it's what I've been doing. What changed? I don't know, Tyler. I'm... I'm just so stressed out all the time. I can't even see straight. I... I want to go home, but I feel so guilty for wanting to leave because so many people would kill to be here. And all I want to do is leave. Four years I've known you. I can see you happier than you were turning from that police set. Just because you're doing something now doesn't mean you have to stay with it. It's okay to want to leave. But... Maggie, you belong here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I'm... I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. We're clear. Got three minutes until we're back. Hey, was I rushed? I felt like I no, you were good. Hey, you mean stories so bad. Was I talking too loud? Did I look pale? Hey, you were fine. Okay. You could be a little less uh newsy. I can't help my natural appeal. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna start with the piece about the. Do you guys hear that? Hello. Hey, Becca. So it turns out we're shooting the scene that you helped with tonight. And I, I know it's last minute, but I think it would be a really good idea if you were there. It would mean a lot to me if you came. If you leave now, I think you should be able to make it. We start shooting in 15 minutes. Becca? I'll be there.
This should be all you need for tonight. Where are you going? The director called. <laughs> so you're just gonna leave? I can't believe you. You know it's not like that. Yes, it is. You don't care about the show anymore. I do. I No, you don't. You don't care about the show or us. I don't care about the show. No. I have given everything I have to this show to make you look good. You don't want me on this show because I'm your friend. You want me here so that I can make it seem like you know what you're talking about when we both know that you don't. I have given everything to this show. You, you didn't care. Jesus! It's all you. <sighs> Action. So proud of you, Maria. Oh, what a great ceremony. The speaker was amazing. It was, it was Hey, is that your uh, English speaker? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I know. Can you please describe it? Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Felt like redecorating? Something like that. No one show up to the meeting? Yeah. Can't say I blame them. <laughs> they, they all left me. Hannah, they didn't leave you. They're trying to find themselves. That is so cliche. Look, the weekly wrap up, it's your thing. It always has been, and you've always loved it but they need to grow. At this point in life, they're trying to figure out what they're supposed to do. What they're meant to do. And they can't do that staying in the same place forever. I know, I just, I wanted everything to stay the same. Yeah, well, nothing ever stays the same. And quite frankly, that's the beauty of all of this. Things are always changing. So she chases me down on the parking deck <laughs> and, and then she starts telling me about why I shouldn't leave. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. cute. I'm like, she needed her. She's dude. a keeper. Yeah. And we have St. Teresa here saving the world. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, you're out there making it. 